Hello guys. All right, so wait for just a few minutes for everyone to get here and then we'll get started. I'm gonna go ahead and post the shopping link right here in the comments. So this is where you can find all of the makeup, all of the tools, Everything I'm gonna be using basically is all available right there. And then if you don't see anything on the website or if you're having trouble finding anything, just message me here on Facebook and I'd be so happy to help you. And then to message me, um, you can either tap on my face, a little description window will pop down and you'll click on my name, Raya Hope, and that will take you to my Facebook page. Or you can um, simply comment below. And if you guys need any help picking out your products, just comment color match. And then when you're shopping on my website, you'll click on rayahope.com and then you'll just scroll to the bottom until you see shop makeup. All right, so we are gonna do kind of a pretty purple eyeshadow look. I picked up one of the Spurge Cream shadow colors that I didn't have. I used to have it and I ran out of it and then I never repurchased it, so I ran back to get that. So we're gonna use this guy right here, which is a really pretty, Kind of a metallic color called noble and then we're gonna do of course our liquid touch foundation because it's 25 percent off um so this is going to be still on sale so if you haven't grabbed your liquid touch yet make sure you do i'm going to be using it and showing you guys how amazing it is so i'm going to first go in with my powder concealer brush and then you're just going to put a little bit on there that was like six ish drops I made sure to shook, shake it really, really well. And then I'm just going to blend this out. All right, so this is the shade Taffeta that we're using today. And I'm just going to apply this all over with the powder concealer brush. I love applying with this because I feel like it really applies it very evenly. Uh, yes, I've used the PayPal option to check out, which is really convenient. I actually have a PayPal like credit, so it's kind of nice to just like put it on the credit card um, when I've done it that way. And then um, we do have like an afterpay method with a app called Kalarna. I've never personally done it, but I've heard it's really simple and really easy. Um, but yeah, so if you're familiar with that, our website works on that app too. All right, so I went ahead and just did like one nice full coverage of that. Yes, 25% off for the liquid foundation. So if you haven't grabbed it yet, make sure you do. Thank you, Fancy, so sweet of you. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and just go in with a touch bit more, dot it all over, and then I'm gonna go in with my blending bud and blend this out. So like I said, this foundation, the fact that it's 25% off is incredible, but I love this foundation because it actually has a product, an ingredient infused in it that helps to produce collagen. So it's actually helping you to like age backwards, which is really, really cool. And then I love that it's super buildable. So it goes on liquid, dries into a powder like finish, which is perfect on all skin tones, all skin types. It just looks so dang good on your skin. And there's no flashback, meaning like if you got your picture taken, it doesn't like flash and make you look really white. So pretty on. Just looks so soft on your complexion. And then if you need to be color matched for this foundation, just comment color match down below and I will private message you. All right, forgot a napkin, of course. Okay. All right, so now seal up that bad boy. I actually have my toning formula saved on my Instagram underneath um, hair360. So if you want any hair info on what I do with my hair, um, as far as like coloring goes, definitely make sure to check that uh, that out. And again, my Instagram name is Raya Hope. All right, so now I'm gonna take my smaller blending bud and just blend this out. And this was the Skin Solution Concealer. Again, one of my absolute favorite products because it has caffeine infused in it. So with the combination of the Liquid Touch and this concealer, you're gonna get just the most gorgeous, soft foundation look. So if you've been searching for a good, soft look for something that doesn't look super heavy, cakey, powdery mess on your face, these two would be highly recommend. So again, the Liquid Touch Foundation is 25% off while supplies last. Make sure that you take advantage before all the good colors are gone. 
And again, I'm using the shade Taffeta, which is like my darker summery shade. All right, so now that we have that all blended out, oh, so gorgeous, so flawless, we're gonna use our Blendy Bud and our setting spray, just like that. Just did an order and use Klarna, so easy and awesome. Order Twist Mascara and the Lash Serum, yay, awesome. Ooh, your lashes are gonna look so good. I can't wait. All right, so now we're gonna go in with our setting powder and we're gonna pop this on all over. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna set that product. So I have natural oily skin, so my my face naturally pushes against anything I put on it, whether that be sunscreen, makeup, foundation, you name it, my skin is like, nope, what is that? Get it off. So it'll push back. So what this does, again, this is called the Touch Behold Translucent Setting Powder. I'll pop the cap off mine so I could use it in like a baking technique. So what this does is it's going to pour all over our lap. It's going to um, absorb any of those oils and things like that that are otherwise going to make our makeup look cakey or powdery. All right, so I'm just going to swish this away. And I'm going to go in with my contour product really fast. Okay, so this is not a new product. It's been on the website for years. I wasn't a huge fan of it, to be honest. But I was thinking about cream contours the other day. And I was like, I should try the Sculpting Trio again. So if you haven't seen this on my website yet, it's been on there forever. It's called the Sculpting Trio. And this is kind of a cool product because it ha it's a three-in-one. So you get your mirror and then you get your picture. So you know where to contour, where to put everything. So you have your contour powder. So it shows you where to put it. Has your highlight powder, shows you where to put it. And then has your highlight powder, shows you where to put it. I will say that it does run a, the these two, the highlight and the um, brightening powders, do run slightly yellow. I will just say it. However, if you like that, you'll love this. So we're just going to use, because the yellow undertones don't look good on my skin tone. So we're just going to go in with the contour product. So you're just going to pop that up. And now I'm going to take my damp blending bud and I'm going to squish that in to the contour cream, which is over here. So I'm going to go from the top of the ear to the corner of the mouth and just bounce this off just very, very lightly, just like this. And then whatever's left, I'm going to take around my forehead. So like I said, I've had, I've had this product. I've used this product before and I wasn't a huge, huge fan, but I also, my skill level kind of has increased and my knowledge about makeup and application has increased. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to try it again. Cause I've been contouring with the stick foundation and that's essentially the same thing. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a try and see what I see how I feel about it. So, um, I grabbed it. I'm wearing the shade light in the sculpting trio there's a light medium and dark for the palettes and this is the light which is plenty of contour for me it's actually really really pretty very very light i'm actually going to take my brush and just blend that out a little bit more but how pretty is that i'm actually really impressed so again, that was a sculpting, the sculpting trio, and we did the, obviously, the contour powder, or the contour cream. So this one's a cream, this one's a powder, and then this one's a cream as well, and then it shows you where to put it. But this is going to be under contouring and bronzing on my website, rayahopebeauty.com, and we just popped it into the hollows. I feel like it was very simple, very easy, and it didn't take any time at all. All right, so we're going to set the rest of our face, and then we're going to finish off our um, blush and contour and all that fun stuff. So I'm going to take my, um, pressed powder in the shade taffeta and we're just going to blend everything out and use this to set everywhere else and just make it all look really soft and really flawless. So we're going to go over these areas just like so. Um, if you guys have any questions, just holler them out down below and I will either write you back here or message you verbally and or both. All right, so I went ahead and just kind of set around the contoured areas. I may use my bronzer just for a sec, just to contour my nose, just because my blending bud was just a little big for that area. Hello, awesome. All right, so I'm just gonna swish this down the sides and then underneath here, just like I said, because my blending bud was just a little too big. But I really like it, super pretty.
I feel like this is a very good product to have, especially if you're not wearing foundation, if you just wanted to throw this on by itself. So this is the Sculpting Trio, and it's the shade Light, and then we took the contour cream and popped that in with the Blending Bud. We used the fat end of that. So super fun. Yes, the new formula of Taffeta in the press powder. Okay, so every product I'm actually going to have linked for you guys on my looks tab, which is this website right there. You can find it easily by going to my website, rayahope.com, and then clicking on the looks area. Um, and then if you need any other help with color matching or anything, just comment color match down below. Yes, you would be the same shade in the liquid as you are in the stick and the cream. Or, I'm sorry, the stick and the spray. All right, so now we're going to take our blush. And I'm going to pop this on the apples of my cheeks. Love this blush color. It's the shade Sisterly. It's my favorite. It has these really pretty, like, soft pink undertones. But it, more so, it has these really gorgeous sheen to it. So it gives your, like, cheek structure just so much illumination. It's just so dang pretty and soft on your complexion. Highly recommend, especially if you're looking for, like, that perfect blush that just looks good with everything. Okay, so now for highlight, I'm going to do the Touch Mode Luminizer in the shade Pearly and pop this on the apples of, or I'm sorry, the highest parts of my cheekbones and then bridge and tip my nose. The brush is not from Unique actually, but you can message me or I'll actually write it here in the comments. So make sure to uh, check out the comments and I will give you guys the link. But the Sculpting Trio, which was the product that I haven't used in a long time that I use today, is under bronzer and highlight, or bronzer and blush on my website, rayahope.com. And I use the shade Light. I feel like Light is a really good, versatile shade for a lot of people, so I recommend that one. Okay, so now for eyebrows. We're going to throw on our brows with the Brow Duo. This is the Pomade and Powder. And you have to, have to, have to get this brush. This is called the Spoolie Brow Artist Brush. It's very important. So what you're going to do is you're going to tap the angled side of the brush into the pomade on both sides and then into the powder on all sides. Then we're just going to follow the natural shape and direction of our brows. So if you are trying to decide which brow product is right for you, I think it's my first question would be what type of brows do you prefer? Do you want something that's a little bit more bold, a little bit more structured? I would do the brow sculpting br uh, pencil. If you want something a little bit more natural, a little bit softer, I would do the brow duo only because I feel like you get more control over how dark or how intense your brows look with the duo because you are using this little tiny angled brush. I feel like you get really, really good control over it as I just put it somewhere it's not supposed to go, <laughs> but I'll show you how to fix that. All right, so we're just going to do again on the other side now pomade powder and then underline underline the top and then down and then here on the front just like so color in what color do I use? You, you, do, 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 do. <laughs> are you using? I'm using the brown. And I feel like it's a perfect match. So uh, my old uh, pencil I used was the shade medium. And I feel like it's the same color, medium and brown. All right, so now that we have our brows done, I did go a little too low on that side. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. So we're going to take a cream brush like this. And then you can take your concealer, you can take your foundation. You're not going to like dip it in or grab a ton. I'm literally going to just like take whatever is like up there. And I'm going to take a pencil or a paper towel. And then I'm very light handedly. Hold on, I'm going to wipe most of that off. You only did a teeny tiny little bit and then poof, it's gone. And that's it. You don't have to set it. You don't have to do anything crazy. You just clean it up. All right, so brows are finished. All right, so now let's do this eye look. I've never done this before, but I think it'll look up. I hope it looks good. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Stephanie. A good foundation if you're not, if you don't love wearing foundation is the BB cream and or not wearing any foundation and doing something like the Sculpting Trio, which you can highlight and contour and make it look like you're wearing makeup or make it look just a little bit more like zhuzhed without having to like 
pile on the concealer and the foundation. So it's a good option for you too, or a thought. All right, so I'm going to take the, the um, Splurge Cream Shadow in the shade Unfazed, and I'm, which is like a really pretty like taupey gray. And I'm going to take the Fluffy Crease Brush, and I'm just very light-handedly going to go back and forth with this and blend this out into the crease. Now the Splurge Cream Shadows are really, really fun and really, really great. I used one yesterday too, because they don't smudge, they don't smear, and they're very simple to apply. You can either apply them with your finger, you can apply them with a fluffy brush, you can apply them with more of like a concealer dense brush. Uh, sky's the limit. What color are you wearing for your brows? Uh, brown is the color I'm wearing. Your eyebrows are perfect. Thank you. So with the brow products, the new ones, they actually have argan oil, biotin, vitamin E infused in the product. So it's actually helping your brows to grow and to become healthier and fluffier and thicker the more you wear it. So if you are trying to like grow out your brow hair or just achieve a more kind of natural looking brow, um, even when you're not wearing makeup, highly recommend to make sure that you're using the brand new brow products really, really helps. I also use the Esteem Lash Serum, which is only $24. It's underneath eyes on my website. I'm going to take a liner brush and just underline my eyes with this now. Um, the Lash, uh, Esteem Lash Serum, like I said, it's only $24 and actually makes your brows grow like weeds, makes your eyelashes grow like weeds wherever you use it. So highly recommend to grab that too. And you'll use that only at nighttime. So you'll apply it before bed go to sleep, and then in the morning you'll rinse it off. I don't see my message. Do you use the same color in pomade and powder? I do, yes. So someone the other day was asking me, do I have to get the pomade if I just want the powder? You do want both because without the pomade, the powder is just going to kind of look, it's not going to set. It's not going to stay. Um, the pomade is what makes the product smudge proof and crease, eh, not crease proof, but smudge proof. It, it's just going to help lay everything down into place. So you do want both, yes. All right, so blending that out looks pretty good. I want it to stay and remain really soft. That's why I went in with this color, which again is a shade unfazed. But now we're gonna go in with the shade Noble, which we're gonna take on our finger, just like this. Isn't that so pretty? And we're gonna pop this on our eyelid. So this color is really, really gorgeous. It's kind of like a purpley metallic color so it has some sheen to it but if you love purple if you have green eyes you have hazel eyes this color better be in your makeup kit it just makes that eye color like pop it's so pretty on and like i said so easy literally put it on with your finger so put it on this side. So the Splurge Cream Shadows are a cream, like a mousse. So they do move around, they can fall out of the container. I know sometimes you guys will open them the wrong way or whatever and they fall out and you're like, oh my God, it's broken. It's totally fine. It's like a moussey little consistency. It's kind of fun and squishy. Uh, I always say if you could bottle up a cloud, this is what it would feel like. But it goes on like a cream, dries into a powder finish and it's smudge proof, crease proof, won't move, won't crease, won't fade throughout the day, won't well, ex uh, accentuate your fine lines and wrinkles if you have those on your eyelids. It's just, honestly, it's so, so pretty. So again, this is the shade Noble in the Splurge Cream Shadow. Noble. My brow, how about with brown eyes? Yes, brown, green, hazel, those colors. Yes, absolutely. So we're just gonna blend that out. See how Unfazed and Noble just really complement one another? My idea worked. All right, I'm going to take my cream shadow brush really fast and grab just a little bit more of this shade Noble and just kind of fine tune the inner because you don't ever want it to just like stop. You want it to fade all the way down where the tear duct is just to make your eyes look complete. If it stops like where your finger would fit, it's going to look just a little off. So make sure to always complete that little area right there. But what do we think? I never do purple, so hope hopefully you guys are happy. You guys are always asking for purple, so I'm like, mm, okay. But I'm actually really happy with that. It turned out really pretty. Alrighty. Always blend. Okay. Now let's set our, actually let's do our eyeliner and then set our makeup and then do our lashes. And then what I'm super excited for, the brand new Hottie Lip Plumper. 
I got mine in the mail yesterday. So excited. Oh my gosh, you are so sweet. Okay, so this side. You know one color I don't like? <laughs> this is so random and so aggressive. But Ryan and I were talking about this last night. Again, so random like that we were talking about it. But navy. I don't like the color navy. Neither does he. But we were, we were looking at um, clothes. And he was like, black or navy? I'm like, never navy. <laughs> navy is such a difficult color to wear. Unless you're wearing like white bottoms. That's it. I don't know. Just my own two cents. I'm not a navy fan. I like the color blue. <laughs> but not navy. Okay, so now we're going to go in with our setting spray. All right, so we're going to pop that on. Hold on, almost missed a spot. We're going to pop that all over. And why we want to go hog wild with this product, you can instantly see how much better my makeup looks after it's on. It's not only going to take away the makeup-y look, powdery look that you get sometimes with makeup, but it's also going to help to prevent transferring and it just sets the product down in a place. So it really does hold everything down. Blue. See, like, I never, like, really gravitate for blue eyeshadow because I feel like... I don't know. I just never really gravitate towards that. But yes, I will try to find some blue shadow one day to do. We don't even, I don't even think we have blue eyeshadow on our website. So apparently me and whoever creates this makeup <laughs> are in agreement. Okay, so your favorite color is purple. Well, you need noble then. Spurge cream shadow and noble. All right, so we're going to go in with our lash primer first. This is going to be really hydrating and it's also going to help with the length of our lashes. So we go on with this first, just like they always joke around. It's a crime not to prime, like your face. Same goes with your lashes. You should be priming your lashes. All right, so then once we've done that, now we're going to go in with the Twisted Mascara. Ah, so good. Blue is hot in the 70s. Yeah, I remember that. True, Palette 4 did have blue. All right, so we're going to go in with the Twisted Mascara down on the base of the lash and then all the way up. So this is really, really, really the best mascara you'll ever find in your entire life <laughs> because it has argan oil, keratin, and biotin infused in it. So it's making your lashes grow while you're wearing it, which is crazy. And it has this perfect little intentional bristle brush. So you get really good application. You don't get like clumpy, too much product all over your lashes. It's just honestly the easiest, most gorgeous mascara ever. So, so good. So we're going to apply that all over. And I always do two coats. I'm a two coats girl. Two coats all over. And it's actually still on sale in the Eye Essential Bundle. So I haven't really talked that much about like what sales are happening. So the Eye Essential Bundle, you get any mascara, twisted or 4D. You get the eyeliner and you get any liquid eyeshadow, including the limited edition ones. And then there's the July special, which is two hottie lip plumpers and a lip exfoliator. And I'm, to be totally transparent, I'm so surprised the hottie lip plumper is still in stock. I don't know what the stock level still looks like, but I would definitely grab it if you haven't yet. I'm going to use the new color, um, the limited edition new color today here in a second. All right, so now I'm going to take this smaller little bristle brush and fine tune my lash look. But also, this is the perfect one for reaching these harder to reach eyelashes. So a little trick for you guys, if you have smaller eyelashes, start off with this and then go in with the uh, other side. It'll like lift your lashes to a more reachable spot. The eyeshadow I'm wearing, I'm wearing two splurge cream shadows and I'm wearing the shade Unfazed and Noble. All right, so 4D is on. Pop that on all over just for a little extra oomph. A little oomph, little jish. And then we're gonna go in with my favorite part. I'm so excited for this. I haven't used this yet and I've been dying to. I got mine in the mail yesterday. Mm, so excited. Okay, so. We're going to go in first with the lip liner. This one is stripped down by MAC. 
and we're going to outline our lips. On the top and the bottom. All right, and then I'm going to color in just a little. Okay, so again, lip liner was not from Unique, it's by MAC, and it's the color Strip Down. And then now I'm gonna go in with the Hottie Lip Plumper, so jazz. This is in the color Refreshed, and it is limited edition. Oh my gosh, isn't this so pretty? You know what this color reminds me of? Velvet Teddy by MAC. It's a lipstick color that was like my favorite in my 20s. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. And it's still a hottie lip plumper, so it's actually going to plump your lips and give you that high gloss look. My goodness, is this not gorgeous. I love this color. So it's the shade Refresh, and you can get this with the lip exfoliator, and you can either get two of these colors, or you can get this and the original in the July special. This is the limited edition color, so make sure you grab it ASAP. Yeah, it's like a chocolate nude. It's so pretty. My goodness, is that not gorgeous? Big fan, big, big fan. So good. On my eyes, I have two Spurge Cream shadows. I have the shade Unfazed and I have the shade Noble. And then on my lips, I have a lip liner that's not from Unique. And then I have the Hottie Lip Plumper in the shade Refreshed. So pretty. If you haven't grabbed that yet, make sure you do. Super excited about that. And then also another product that I use that I don't normally use, I use our Sculpting Trio. I use the contour cream to contour with and I actually really, really, really like how it turned out. I feel like it even looks more softer and more blended than when I do like a powder. Super good. I really like this one. Highly recommend. I think I'm going to do a tutorial on no foundation and just using this. I feel like it would work. I feel like it would work really well, actually. All right, what's under your brow? My eyeshadow is the shade Unfazed under my eyebrows. Yes, England did win last night. <laughs> I definitely know that answer. I think, what, two to one? I think that was the score. In overage. <laughs> my husband's obsessed. All right, so I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Make sure to shop down here, rayahope.com. Make sure to message me if you need any help. Comment color match down below if you need any help picking out your sculpting trio, your foundation, whatever. And don't miss out on the liquid foundation being on sale. 25% off for the foundation. Grab your winter shade. Grab your summer shade. Stock up while it's on sale, while it's not in a bundle. Just this. So make sure to snag it. And then make sure to grab the limited edition refreshed hottie lip lip clumper <laughs> lip plumper in the July special. Love you guys. See you soon. Bye.